good afternoon and welcome back to vlog number two of road safety i have promised that i'll be sharing my experiences every day remember that this month of may is a motorcycle awareness month also the road safety awareness month and i ride for helmets together with ink sisterhood and all other women bikers we are running a campaign dubbed ni cheki na cheki mwenzako So today I was a driver not a rider. And my route was as usual from home Naivasha Road through Kawangware then I took Gong Road bypass all the way to Mombasa Road and Adi River and then came back not exactly through the same route because i got lost advice if you haven't used any road that is under construction in this country for more than a month which i think it could even be too long make sure you just use google maps yeah use google maps otherwise you'll get lost i missed a uh, two turns the first one is i took the exit to go to eastern bypass instead of heading to town cbd i missed the the I didn't see the sign. I also thought that was a U-turn there because, again, because they have put the mabatis, they have blocked the road and uh, covered it with mabatis. Then, of course, I had to go all the way past Miran, all the way to find a U-turn because I wasn't also on the service lane. And when I got to Ole Sereni, me, I never left that new hotel there. So I saw a green building that I'm not used to. It's been long. And I didn't realize that that was the turn to the bypass until too late. There was nothing I could do and so I headed towards town. The places look so different. So anyway, uh, that was my experience today. I have a couple of questions that I really want us to discuss. So I'm going to ask and the first one is why are we so or why is it so difficult for us to give way to each other? If you're joining a road and especially roads with heavy traffic where you will not get a clear road at all and people just decide they don't want to give you way and then why is it difficult for us to give way sometimes it's not just joining the road it's even changing a lane and people don't want to give you way even if you indicate for an hour they still don't want to give you way second question is why attract such bullies? <laughs> Today I have been squeezed in between cars a couple of times. Gosh, and it's so scary, especially when it is tracks on both sides because you know you're in a blind spot and the drivers cannot see you. Okay, the one squeezing your nose, know, you're there. But sometimes the one you're being pushed to doesn't know you're there. So it tracks drivers and buses. Why are you guys with big vehicles so bully, such bullies on the road? Question number three is, why are we so impatient? If there's traffic on the road and probably the oncoming traffic is not coming, all that part of the road, that side of the road is empty. Everybody just moves to that side and before you know it, nobody can go anywhere. Why are we so impatient? So those are my observations for the day. And I would like us to discuss, I'd like to hear your, your thoughts and your opinions and reasons why this happened. I forgot to tell you yesterday that I was called out by a rider because I didn't have niggards. I promised to have niggards if I have trousers that don't have, that are not armored. Yeah. Even me, I make mistakes. I do. I do make mistakes. So wishing you a lovely evening and a good day depending on what time you watch this video and let's look forward to tomorrow and what's gonna happen tomorrow my name is Wamoe Kariuki bringing you stories from the road